What is up everyone, the day of reckoning has arrived, and I know I told you guys I was not going to have any video out for you today, but it turns out that may or may not have been a lie. V28 has started rolling out, and Oculus's rollout system makes it so that not everybody receives it at the same time, and to be honest with you, if it wasn't for your guys' help, I probably wouldn't have it right now. But I do, and I want to share with you guys exactly how you can get it right now. So quick disclaimer, just before we begin the tutorial, this will require you to have a Windows computer, and it is us sideloading the update. While nothing should go wrong, unless, I don't know, your quest disconnects or something from your computer, if you do not feel comfortable doing this or feel skeptical, don't do it. Just wait for the update to roll out. They seem to be doing it pretty fast, because once again, even though this should be perfectly safe, and this is actually how I've installed most of my quest updates, I need to put this disclaimer here. Or if you guys want help, join our Discord and we're willing to help. So, with the help of you guys, we were able to get the zip file from the Oculus Quest. Like, the server is mad right now, so make sure to join there in case you want to have some fun. But without any further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So, first thing you guys are going to require is you will require your Oculus Quest 2. Do not do this on the Quest 1, that is not what this zip file is for. What we're doing is we are sideloading the zip file, so if you sideload the zip file onto the wrong device, it won't work. And I did do this on my own device, so I can 100% tell you that as long as you don't disconnect your Quest during the process, you should be perfectly fine. So, enter up the Reddit v28 mega thread, download the zip file from the pinned comment, and then download ADB. Now, a link to ADB will be down in the description below, just follow the link just like this. We are actually on KitKat's computer right now because he didn't get the update either, so he kindly donated his PC for me to remote control to sideload it onto his quest. So, once you have ADB downloaded, you want to open it up and install it. This is very important, this is going to install ADB system-wide. This is what is going to allow us to sideload the update. Once you have ADB installed, press the Windows key and the letter R on your keyboard. Once you have done that, type CMD and press Enter. Once you have pressed Enter, you will get a command prompt window. Now, inside this command prompt window, type ADB and press Enter. Once you do that, you should get like a bunch of code showing up. That means ADB is working. Now, what you want to do is you want to power off your Oculus Quest 2. Once your Oculus Quest 2 is off, power it back on, but this time holding the power button and the volume down button you should see a menu show up. This is your recovery menu. Use your volume buttons to navigate inside that menu and click on sideload update. Select that by pressing the power button. Your screen should turn blank. You know you're successfully in ADB sideload mode. When you see the LED on your quest, turn purple. Now you're in ADB sideload mode. Connect your Oculus Quest to your computer. Back on your computer, inside the command prompt window, type ADB devices. This should show you that your device is, as a matter of fact, in ADB sideload mode and recognized by the computer. From here on, what you want to do is type ADB space sideload space and drag the zip file that you downloaded from the Reddit into your command prompt. Press enter and it will start sideloading the update to your quest. Now it is very important to not unplug your quest during this process. I do have a rollback zip in case you guys need it. We have multiple rollback zips on Reddit. So in case something does go wrong, which it really shouldn't unless again you unplug your quest, all you need to do is sideload one of the older versions, the full V27 update or anything else and factory reset the quest because you would be going from a half installed V28 update to a lower version. But as long as you do everything exactly as I told you, you should be perfectly fine. That is, as a matter of fact, how I got it, that is how Cat got it. Now, something to mention here, and I do mention it to everybody who was sideloading on the Discord, the first boot will take a while. Don't worry, you will be stuck on the Oculus logo for quite some time. In fact, I believe mine took a solid five to eight minutes to turn on for the first time, so don't panic. So, now that you have the update on your quest, you can celebrate, right? Well, not really, because it works really damn well. And for the short time that I was able to test it, I was testing it here with KitKat, the Oculus Link issues seem to have been fixed. Uh, I actually used a 2.0 port, port by accident, and it seems perfectly fine. Really, really nice, really, really smooth. You also get 120 hertz under experimental features. Hell yeah, that's what we were waiting for, right? Now, something that was brought up to me on the Discord, just in case you guys don't see 120 hertz at the bottom of experimental features, what you want to do is you want to scroll up to the very top of experimental features and click reset. Your quest will restart. Don't worry, this isn't formatting the quest, just the experimental features. Then you should see 120 hertz show up successfully. Absolutely amazing. Now, let's just remember that a very limited amount of apps currently support this. The virtual desktop developer is on it though, so virtual desktop for the win once again, especially since 
Airlink isn't available. Now, Airlink will be available very, very soon. I'm actually thinking that they might make it available during the Oculus Gaming Showcase, the event that is happening on the 21st of April, but currently it is unavailable. You won't be able to find it anywhere, and it is not on the desktop software. Now, this is also probably because we don't have an official release for the desktop software for V28 while I'm recording this video. It might be out by the time I'm done. Who knows? The only way to get V28 is to join the public test channel, and that one doesn't seem to have Airlink either. So, Airlink, not an option, but link issues seem to have been fixed. No 120 hertz on link, by the way, either, or at least currently, again, while I'm recording this video. 120 hertz, mwah, in cubism, absolutely beautiful. Love this thing. It's, it's, so damn smooth. Now, I was able to test 120 hertz before the quest, and I, I kind of knew what to expect, but you guys that didn't know what to expect, you're going to absolutely love this. And yeah, what can I say? Currently, from my very, very short time of about 20 minutes test time, everything is working perfectly fine, and all the bugs seem to have been fixed from V28. But yeah, we can now roll back in case we ever need to with V27. Uh, you do need to reset your quest, though, if you do ever want to roll back, because it is going from an newer version to an older version and feature mismatches and things like that. I don't want to play around with that kind of stuff, but yeah, V28, it's here. The hype train is over, and was it worth it? Guess we'll have to see. I'm really looking forward to seeing Airlink, but for now, I'm a stick with virtual desktop. Now, I did join uh, voice chat for literally just a few seconds to ask you guys whether you found the Airlink feature yet, and uh, I told you guys to say hi. I think it's fair to say that was a slight mistake. 120 hertz is there, because you guys are in the video right now, by the way, so you can say hi if you want to. <laughs> well, that was a mistake. <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna be joining you guys right back, and we're gonna test some features, we're gonna play some games, and have some fun, maybe in VR chat. Who knows? Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope I helped you out. If you have any issues, join our Discord, or if you're skeptical or worried about anything, join our Discord. We're willing to help. There's like so many people there that are totally willing to help you right now. So don't be worried. And if you are skeptical or worried in any way, just wait for the update. They seem to be rolling out very, very fast. So if you are not willing to sideload or if you're worried about sideloading, maybe just don't do it for your own safety. And that's that. Once again, thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day or night, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video on how to connect the Knuckles controllers to the Oculus Quest. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys would like to join our community, make sure to join that Discord down below, make sure to join that Reddit. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, we've got sick mugs down below that boost your FPS by 300%, and merch that doesn't put a huge ad in body. Look what has arrived, the 50k merch. And if you guys want to be notified of future content coming up on the channel daily, make sure to smack the subscribe button, with your forehead, dig my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.